Okay, we were up all night, weren't we, baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were. But it was okay. It went very smoothly, didn't it? You're such a good mama. Yes, you are. I was right there with you. Yes. All right, we got bubbles right there. And here's her babies. Look at those. These guys are spectacular. I was sitting there praying for a tiny white girl. And I got a big white girl. Well, she's not really big. She's going to be like maybe four and a half pounds. But the tiny one is this one, a little boy. He is really nice. He, I believe these are mural spots on both of these. I'll know more as they mature. Um, but I'm probably going to want to keep him. I'm probably going to want to keep her. And I'm probably going to want to keep her. Just joking. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I really don't know what to do here because I love all three of these puppies. So we will see. She might not be big enough to keep, but if she is and she's a Merle, I'm going to keep her. And if he is a Merle, I'm keeping him. And I can see those little tiny spots coming up, I think. And this one here, if she stays white, I'm going to keep her. So I'm going to put him on the website under evaluation and just see what happens as they mature. They're statistically should be 50% short coat, 50% long coat. So we got two girls and one boy. They're just, this is a dream right here for me. Just love it. Their daddy is Bannon and he is my tiniest male. Um, He's either right at three or right under three. He's he's very tiny. Last time I weighed him, he was 2.7, but he might have gained a few ounces, but not many. Anyhow, um, the littlest one, he only weighs 2.2 ounces, which means 2.2 pounds predicted weight. Um, realistically, I'm thinking closer to, because he does look a little thin uh, for a newborn. newborn. But um, so I'm thinking he's probably gonna be like his dad right under three. Uh, we'll see what happens as he gets older. Um, I'm not going to weigh him on camera until he's a couple weeks old, but I'll have this video up to document when he was born in case people think I'm lying about the age because they should think I'm lying about the age because breeders lie about the predicted weights all the time. So I would be skeptical on that of any breeder of a Chihuahua because everybody wants tiny. But he was born on... What is today? The 15th, 14th, something like that of um, July. And I'm going to have to hold him on mama. I mean, I'm not actually holding him on, but I keep having to put him on the nipple. Um, on my lap, around the clock, for at least two weeks. Because if I don't, he won't eat. He'll just lay there and get weak, and he'll get to the point where he has to be too fed, and then he could end up... I could mess up and he, it could end up going in his lungs and he dies. Or he could starve to death. But I'm not going to allow starvation. And I'm not going to allow him to die of aspiration either. I will do everything I can. And then I will make sure that they don't die that way. I never let them just die. I always have them put down. Because I just think it's too cruel to let them suffer. But if I work hard... And the Lord is on my side. I believe he's going to be fine. I'm very optimistic for him because I have gotten pretty good. And you need your little nails clipped. I hate cutting their nails when they're pregnant because I don't want to squeeze on them. Um, so they get a bath usually within a couple of days once the afterbirth quits coming out. And I cut their nails. And I take a pick and I pick their little teeth. Because I don't like picking their teeth when they're pregnant either. Because I don't want to squeeze on them. I like picking off the tartar. That way they have less dentals that they have to have. Less anesthesia. She likes being on Mama's lap. Okay, well, that's my beautiful newborn litter.